right, today I'm reviewing the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So this is a new uh, tinted moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. Uh, they kind of come out with new products here and there, but uh, I've definitely got a couple of their products that I use uh, every day and definitely continue to repurchase it. One is their serum, their Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, and the other is their mattifying uh, moisturizer, I guess is what they call it, but it's not really so mattifying. But anyway, those are definitely a couple of products of theirs that I continue to use regularly. And they usually do a pretty good job of not including a lot of artificial fragrance and keeping the formulas pretty basic. And uh, this one's pretty basic, but they've included a couple things I'm a little uh, leery of. But uh, let me kind of start from the beginning. This is the uh, Full size, which is one ounce and it sells for $28, comes in a nice tube packaging. The only, um, one of the issues is the amount of colors. I picked up fair, uh, but I think they've got five colors, so it's going to be difficult to get a good match for you. Uh, since it's a tinted moisturizer, there's always kind of room for a little bit of a give there, but definitely if you're in the darker skin tones, it's going to be difficult to find a good match. Um, but fair for me was pretty decent. So, um, but anyway, so let me start with the packaging. I gave it a thumb up there. The packaging is nice, um, pretty easy to dispense and apply. And it also protects uh, some of the antioxidants and the sunblock in there from light and air, which is definitely a good thing. So I gave it a thumb up there. Um, the next is alcohol and there is no alcohol included in this. So that's definitely a plus. I gave it a thumb up there. And then the next is fragrance, and uh, despite the marketing where they say no artificial fragrance, uh, they do have limoline in here, which is a, a fragrant ingredient. Apparently it's not artificial, it's natural, but that doesn't make it uh, any better for you or your skin. So it definitely would be better without that. And the other ingredient that they have included is mandarin orange peel oil which is also a skin sensitizer. So this product would definitely be better off without those. Um, both of those ingredients are near the end of the ingredient list. However, they are above some of the good antioxidants that they've included. So this definitely would have been better off without those included. And I'm guessing that they were trying to cover up the uh, scent from the sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen, which... To me, it's I prefer the physical sunblock just because the chemical sunblock, it's not that I'm concerned about the chemicals. I just can't handle that scent. I don't know. There's something about that chemical sunblock scent that it just bothers me all day long no matter what. And um, it definitely kind of disperses, but it still lingers enough to, to me where I can still smell it all day long and I just... I don't know. There's something to me about that. It's not overwhelming or overpowering in this, but if I can smell it at all, it bothers me. So um, so I'm guessing what they try to do with that limoline and mandarin peel oil is that they were trying to kind of cover that up a little bit, but they didn't do a good enough job for me. So I'd rather not have any scent at all. But anyway, so I definitely gave it a thumb down there. Um, the next is manufacturing location, and this is manufactured in the U.S., <laughs> So there are no issues there. Um, the next is ease of use, and uh, this applies pretty easily. You can either uh, apply it with your hands, or you can apply it with a sponge or a brush. But as you can see, this is the fair color, which is the lightest color they have. Um, but it's still, um, until you blend it in thoroughly, it still leaves a little bit of a, a little bit of a color there where it just it isn't quite light enough. And this is their lightest color. Um, after you blend it in, it it there's enough room there where it doesn't look um, obvious. They're like too in your face that it doesn't match because it's more of a moisturizer, so it kind of blends in a little bit better than most. But it does a decent job covering up any imperfections you might have. Um, but then just applying it, I get that 
sun sunscreen smell. It just drives me crazy, but it's still better to have a sunscreen on than even if it's chemical than nothing else. But um, but as you can see, it kind of once you apply it, it kind of soaks in, and you can't tell too much that it's not the same color, but. There's still a little bit of issues when they don't have that many colors to match. But if you're using this just as a moisturizer and then plan on using a foundation overneath, you're probably not going to have any huge issues with that. But I definitely recommend if you can get to the store to swatch it to see if, especially if you're not going to use this with a foundation, just to make sure it's going to match enough. So, But anyway, it's pretty easy to use. And if you're using this as your only source of sunblock, uh, it's okay because this is 30, which is kind of the gold standard, but definitely let it soak in for a little bit. I think the chemicals need 15 to 20 minutes before they can work. So definitely apply it a little bit before you plan on going outside. Um, and then number six is antioxidants and pigmentation. And the pigmentation does enough to kind of smooth out uh, most minor imperfections. Um, and it does include a lot of good antioxidants. It's got uh, colloidal oatmeal, probably said that wrong, but which is good for your skin. It's a good antioxidant, good moisturizer. Um, it's got white tea extract, uh, and then it's got allantolin, allantoin. I'm probably saying that wrong too. But that's also a good um, moisturizer, very good for dry skin. And then it's also got uh, licorice root extract in as well. And all of those are good. The licorice root is definitely good if you have any hyperpigmentation. It kind of helps even out skin tone. So it's definitely got a lot of good things going for it um, overall. It would be better if they hadn't included that uh, fragrance ingredients. But it's not huge in the scent. You can't even smell it really. So that's a good thing, but it still would be better off without that. Um, and then the next is animal testing, and First Aid Beauty is cruelty-free, which is great. We love that. So it got a thumb up there. Uh, and then number eight is performance, and this performs quite well. Uh, if you apply it, I, I have such dry skin that even using this, I still need to apply serum and a moisturizer underneath because it just didn't provide a ton of hydration but it definitely provided some, but it performs quite well. Even without a primer, it lasts all day um, without any issues. If you need to apply, if you have very dry skin and you need to apply a lot of moisturizer underneath this, uh, just be careful because I did have some pilling on one of the days I wore this, uh, which was a day where I had a lot of moisturizer on underneath and there's just a little bit of pilling, not a ton, but just take that into consideration if you have extremely dry skin. So, um, but overall performance was great. Uh, price is great. I gave that a thumb up. It's $28 for one ounce and a little bit goes quite a long way. So I expect that this tube will last you quite a while. Um, so definitely gave it a thumb up there. And then the last is the It Factor. And I gave it a thumb up there because it's kind of got everything going for it. It's got protection, which SPF is the only real anti-aging product ingredient that you can use. So it's got the SPF. It's got hydration. It's got coverage all in one. So we love that. Uh, definitely can be a good time saver, especially if you don't have um, any major skin issues and you don't have any major blemishes to cover up. This definitely could be something that... Uh, if you like to go light and just use a little bit of makeup, this can definitely get it all done for you. Um, as long as the that SPF chemical scent doesn't bother you. And I'm not concerned about the chemicals in the SPF. You, there's been research done on them. And overall, from everything I've read, there's nothing to be super concerned about with it. It's just that scent of those. And that's where the zinc and titanium oxide to me doesn't bother me because I can't smell that. But chemical stuff just bothers me so I probably wouldn't use this myself every day because of that but definitely if you're going to be outside and you just want a little bit of uh, moisture and coverage and sunscreen definitely a good option so um, overall this did pretty good it got nine out of ten on my Sarah's score scale which uh, is two thumbs up so they did a pretty great job there um, anyway, so I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not, and if so, what your thoughts were. First Aid Beauty usually does a quite a good job with their products that they release. They don't release a ton of products, but when they do, they're usually well thought out, uh, well created products. So um, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've tried this out yet or not, so leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. 
feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come out with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, this is Sarah from No BS Beauty, and I'm proud to offer you one of my first products. And it is a stainless steel makeup palette. And I've been using ones like these for quite a while, and it makes it a lot easier to mix kind of custom foundation shades, custom serums, uh, custom lip colors. Um, it just, you need something like this in your uh, makeup routine to make things a lot easier. And uh, all the profits from it will go to help the channel, which I'm independent and I purchase all the products with my own money. Um, so definitely all of the profits will go so I can continue to bring you good reviews. Um, but, you know, things I like to use are retinol. Retinol is definitely a good thing to use, um, but sometimes some of them can be a little too strong. So sometimes I like to mix them with other serums. So I'll use this to kind of custom make my uh, retinol at night so it's a little bit less irritating when you mix it in with something else or another thing you can do is mix in a vitamin C uh, some of these can be a little oily or greasy so sometimes it's nice to be able to mix it in with another uh, serum so I like to use the Clinique one and I'll mix this in just a little bit because otherwise sometimes it can be a little too oily and I'll mix it in and in the morning I'll apply it all over my face before sunscreen. Um, and another good vitamin C serum I like is the Derma Doctor one, but um, sometimes using the dropper with that can be a little messy, so sometimes I just like to mix just a little bit in with another serum. I love the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Serum, definitely a holy grail of mine. And I like to mix that in with it as well. Or sometimes before I go to bed, uh, if I've got something else going on the next day, I like to mix in a little bit of tanner, self-tanner, but sometimes if you use use it alone, it can get a little too orange or a little too dark. So sometimes mixing that in with another serum makes it um, definitely a lot better and a lot more moisturizing for your skin as well. So um, definitely something to, you can use in your uh, serums or your kind of custom make your own uh, skincare routine by using that and mixing up all these products. So uh, definitely something worth considering there. And I also like to use it to mix in some of my custom foundations. So uh, let me show you that too. Uh, another thing I've been using this palette for is mixing and kind of customizing my own foundation. Uh, kind of you can almost create a specific color if you have certain foundations that don't mesh well with your uh, skin tone or even your skin texture. You can almost create your own custom foundation. Um, one foundation I love is the Bare Minim Minerals Bare Pro. Uh, however, sometimes I can find it to be a little too drying and almost kind of giving you more of a matte finish. So sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of the Josie Mara and Argan Moonstone drops with it uh, and then use it. And it kind of helps kind of lessen the color and kind of give it a little bit more of a glowy look. Um, another thing I like to use is mixing in sometimes with uh, oil with a foundation. And sometimes that gives you more of a uh, dewy look. So sometimes I'll mix that in with the Dr. Jart. And it helps give you a little bit more of a glow to it. So sometimes mix in just a little bit in. Um, and you definitely want to be careful with what you're mixing just to make sure that the ingredients are compatible because certain types of foundations don't work well with certain types of other ingredients. But uh, something to consider, definitely. But you can almost create your own custom look. I love this. Um, but sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of a glow to it. So I'll mix in some of my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator with it. Um, so you can definitely do that. Uh, also, Cover FX makes a great, uh, they're custom cover drops, but you can use these to alter the color of any foundation. So this is great to mix that with. Um, just give it a couple drops there. And then mix that in with another foundation to make it either lighter or darker. Um, the Ordinary Serum Foundation is great, but I found it difficult to get the exact color. So sometimes mixing the other colors works well. Um, Cover Effects also has these new glitter drops, so sometimes it's nice to be able to use this to mix in with either a foundation or just to put it on this 
and then you can use a uh, brush to either dip it in and apply it as eyeshadow or dip it in and apply it on to lips as kind of a lipstick cover so there's definitely some great options and uh, definitely love some of cover effects custom enhancer drops but you can use this to mix it in with almost any different type of foundation and add a little bit of color here and there um, but definitely using this and if you use a sponge or a beauty blender you can get that damp and then just use this to dip it in and apply it it makes it a heck of a lot easier than uh than trying to do it in your hand or I don't know where else you would even maybe the lid of another product but this definitely makes all of that a heck of a lot easier so it's definitely something worth picking up and all of the profits from the sales of this palette will go to support my independent reviews uh, I purchase all the products with myself just so I can give you an honest opinion as opposed to somebody that gets the products for free to review um, I personally like to purchase them so I can give you my completely objective review without having to feel like I owe a company anything because they gave me something free. So um, all the profits will go to help support those reviews.